Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a seascape using a paper towel. So first I wanted to tell you that I'm super excited because again I have new paints in my shop. I know a lot of you have been asking me about my paints, so finally there they are. Those are the colors that are available. Actually, you can buy a set of six colors and those colors are going to be randomly picked. You'll probably get one blue, one green, one pink, one black. So the colors are not repeating themselves. If you want to check them out and see the set and learn a little bit more about that, you can find it in my shop and I will put the link in the description box. I did do a sketch earlier and it is available for download from my website. So there is also a link for that in the description box. So if you want to sketch to for yourself to download it for yourself, you can find it in the description. And first thing I did this time, I did not prevent the paper. You probably already know with those who are watching my videos that I usually prevent the paper when painting sky, seascapes and whatever. This time I did not prevent the paper, but I have picked up a little bit of blue turquoise and a little bit of green turquoise from my set, mix those colors, two colors in and then apply them onto a dry paper. And you can also see that I did not try to paint on the entire paper. There are some parts left white. When added those colors to the sea and also to the sky, I have picked up with a clean towel, clean paper towel. I have picked up the paint for the sky and also for the, I guess, waves. You can see right now that I'm picking up the waves with the clean towel. So there is also one more way to paint the sea and to paint those that foam on, on waves. So why not? Just give it a try while the paint is still wet. Try to pick up with your towel, but just make sure you add enough of the pigment to the sea and also to the sky. So when you pick it up with the towel, that will be it will be visible. Afterwards, I've also mixed up a little bit of black with twist and a little bit of yellow light again from my uh, color set and just applied them for the beach. Again, I did not try to make one even wash, but just add a little bit more of the pigment here and there, a little bit less here and there. Then picked up a little bit more of the pigment and with the tip of my brush, I'm just adding it here and there to create some shadows to make it look like someone walked on it. There is some, maybe some dirt on the sand just to add a little bit of diversity. Then while the paint is still wet, I did not try to uh, wait until the paint dries. You can see that my paint slightly bled into the uh, into the sand. That's fine. I'm fine with that. If you don't want that, just make sure your beach is completely dry before you move on, uh, move on to painting the umbrella. And I guess that's called an umbrella. And then uh, just adding blue turquoise quite amount quite saturated and I've added it I have added one stripe and then just rinsed my brush and with clean water I just touched that paint because I do want the bleeds on the other stripes of my sunshade so just right now I'm just while the paint is still wet on my beach I did add a couple of splatters with the same color I used for painting the beach and also a couple of splatters with just the clean water again to create a little bit more texture to the beach and then went back to my uh, sunshade and just again painted in the first stripe blue with sky blue and then just rinsed my brush and move the paint to the other stripe to make it bleed. I think it looks a little bit more nicer. This is a loose painting and we're not going to try to make it perfect. Not all the stripes should be perfect. So maybe it's an old uh, sunshade. So it's just the paint, the colors and the pigment on, on the fabric just started to bleed. Why not? So this time I decided to uh, use two brushes. One brush I'm using for the paint 
and just applying one stripe and with the other brush that is just clean water um, just moving and well I guess smudging the second stripe just moving it to that somewhat white stripe and I'm gonna do that all the way to all the stripes on my sunshade and even if you have bleeds in the upper stripe that's also again fine just not don't go overboard we don't want those bleeds to be uh, to be a lot of them too much of them we do want them to be quite subtle and you could have seen on the first one when I added pigment and then went to the other stripe it was just too too much of the pigment so I used the clean tower pick up that paint and just move it from the paper while it's still wet you can do that quite easily this is just one pigment sky blue but again you can use any color you have I just think these colors just match very very nicely together so I'm using those and again I decided to add a little bit more of the pigment to that those darker stripes to make them a little bit more saturated just a little bit more again smudging into the lower stripe just using a clean water if you want you can add a little bit more of the pigment and I did leave one uh, little line in between those uh, in between those parts of the umbrella umbrella sunshade that I don't want to make it look like though there are those wires that are connecting the those parts of the sunshade so right now I've picked up a little bit of green turquoise and just adding it to the to my sea because I do want the distinction between the sea and the sky so I've added one line on top where the horizon line is use the clean water to soften that lower part and then just adding here and there just beneath those uh, those white parts that I made with a clean brush I'm just adding a little bit more of the pigment to create some shadows and highlights and to make it look a little bit more like uh, waves you can see just beneath those lines white lines I'm adding a little bit more of the pigment and I'm using this uh, brush from Pond Art this is a round brush I will list it in the description I must say that I really do love this brush it can hold a lot of the pigment but also it has a very very fine tip and you can do very very nice details with it so if you want to check it out there is a link in the description and you can go ahead and check it out a little bit more of the pigment this time on a dry paper on the beach just to add a little bit more texture to it and more splatters this time the paper is completely dry so I'm just adding splatters on a dry paper and you can see there are more concentrated in the lower part lower right part and less of them are in our upper part some dirt on the beach just adding here and there and with that couple of details well I guess at the end I decided to do a few birds I was just missing that focal point so I decided to do a bird I'm using black with twist for that you can find them on the sketch they are on the sketch so just with the tip of my brush pressing it a little bit harder for the body and again with the tip of the brush I'm adding wing and with that I'll be finishing off I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was quite simple and fun don't forget new watercolors are in if you want to check them out there is a link in the description and thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed still to my channel where there are over 400 tutorials and you can find some tutorials for the beginners also for the intermediate so if you want to check it out I would really appreciate that and subscribe of course to my channel if you like this video hit the like button share it and comment and again thank you so much for watching I hope I'll see you next time bye